Hello folks, this is Salah Abdali. So what we got here today? Dupont analysis. Interesting. Am I right? Okay. Now this will show up on both CFA level one and level two. So make sure to take your note and you're gonna be in good shape. This approach starts from return on equity, which equal net income divided by average equity or for simplicity let's say equity in practice which measure that you can a company generate on its equity capital so let's say i invest a thousand us dollar in xyz company and after one year this company generate for me a hundred dollar net income so my return equity for this company gonna be ten percent this ten percent does not tell us the entire story that's why we use DuPont analysis approach to reveal the secret behind the calculation of return on equity. So the question that you really should be interested in, what's the driven factor for this 10%? Okay, is it a profit margin? Is it management utilization with assets turnover or return on assets? or degree of financial leverage and more ratio. Actually, before we decompose it here on equity, you're gonna see why I prefer to call this ratio as a mother of ratios. Okay, therefore, we're gonna decompose return on equity under or for two-way decomposition, three-way, decomposition and five-way decomposition okay all of these ways reflected or driven from DuPont analysis to reveal the secret behind this 10% so let's start our journey okay now two-way DuPont decomposition are you ready guys this decomposition breakdown return on equity into two components okay as we know return on equity equal net income divided by equity let's break it into two components the first one and the second one here net income here equity we need to fill down those boxes in a manner that can cancel each another out what do you suggest here i put assets here we put assets okay this ratio it's i think it's, we are familiar for this ratio it's representative on assets interesting assets divided by equity represent a degree of financial leverage okay so let's stop here and discuss what return on assets and degree of financial leverage mean before before that before that if we cancel assets here and cancel assets here we're gonna remain with net income divided by equity okay now return on assets return on assets in english mean it's a percentage of income from the assets that the company own or it's measured the return earned by the company on its own assets what i prefer to to call return on assets this ratio actually reflect the company strategy okay interesting am i right let's leave this question after two minutes and we're gonna answer why it reflects the company strategy okay while the degree of financial leverage it's measured the amount of total assets supported by each money unit of equity. In practice, as all know, that assets equal liability plus equity. Liability plus equity represent capital structure. If assets divided by equity equal one, that means all my assets were financed by the equity what if this percent 
equal 1.2 of or this rate. That means almost 17% are financed by liability. But how? Let's see. Okay. Here we go. As we saw, assets divided by equity equal 1.2. Lead us assets equal 1.2 equity. Assets equal debt plus equity equal 1.2 equity. Leading us to 0.2 equity equal that by transferring here equity to here subtracting 1.2 equity minus 1 equity leaving us 0.2 equity equal uh, debt thereby from our old example our equity was a thousand multiplied by 20 percent equal 200 equal so let's see that 200 divided by our total capital structure 120 which equal almost 17 percent okay so that's how we drive this 17 percent okay as we all know that degree of financial leverage amplify risk and return risk and return okay but how from our famous solvency ratio debt to equity we have higher debt lower equity leaving us with higher debt to equity ratio which equal higher risk our return on equity ratio net income divided by equity lower equity leaving us to higher return on equity higher return that's why degree of financial leverage amplify risk and amplify return now let's start discussing three way dupont decomposition i think it's gonna be interesting what do you think this decomposition express return on equity as a product of all three components from the scratch return on equity equal net income divided by equity which equal return on assets multiplied by degree of financial leverage now we're gonna answer our previous question return on asset we can break it into two decomposite or two ratios here and here multiplied by each other okay return on assets net income here average assets or assets here we need to fold those boxes in a manner that can cancel each another out what do you suggest i suggest cells here cells you are familiar now net income divided by sales equal profit margin sales divided by assets equal assets turn over okay if you multiply those ratios in degree of financial leverage which is equal assets divided by equity we're gonna remain with return on equity sales cancel sales here and assets cancel assets here we got remain with net income divided by equity now the answer for previous question return on assets reveal what it reveals a company strategy why we have actually companies have two strategy which is gonna be either a volume strategy or a price strategy okay volume strategy as we know volume strategy return on assets equal profit margin multiplied by assets turnover. In volume strategy, 
company it tried to maximize its asset turnover it tried to maximize selling in a bulk it tried to maximize sales over and over and over why profit margin is gonna be low because the price gonna be less okay in contrast a price strategy return on assets as we know equal profit margin here's the price gonna be so high leading a profit margin to gonna be high but the company assets turnover gonna be low since the price is so high the turnover for sales gonna be low that's why return on assets reflect company strategy okay let's back to DuPont analysis now five way decomposition okay to spread the effect of taxes and interest we can further decompose the return on equity into what five components interesting okay let's start from scratch return on equity in equal net income divided by equity which equal as we said that gonna be equal return on assets multiplied by degree of financial leverage and return on assets we break it into a profit margin multiply by assets then over multiply by degree of financial leverage all of these ratio lead us to return on equity return on equity now we gonna spread what assets turn over no profit margin we need it to spread it into three ratios okay as we know let's start and draw the income statement structure all of us know that income statement structure starts from sales minus cogs leave us with the gross profit minus s g and a leaving us with e b i t minus interest leaving us with ebit minus tax leaving us with net income okay we know that a profit margin equal what net income divided by sales here let's start as from the income statement structure one two three we gonna put here a b i t multiply by a bit multiply by net income okay net income here net income here we need to put here sales boxes that cancel each another out here we're gonna put what a b i t here a bit what does ratio mean it means operating margin the percentage the company retain after paying its operating expenses while EBIT divided by EPIT we call it or according to DuPont analysis we call it interest burden from the eye here I don't prefer to call it interest burden I prefer to call it interest retention it represents the, uh, the percentage the company retain after paying the interest okay and here net income divided by EBIT according to DuPont analysis they call it tax burden from the T the percentage is a company retain after paying tax if EBIT cancel EBIT and EBIT cancel EBIT we will leave with net income divided by sale which equal to the profit margin if we multiply profit margin with uh, assets turnover degree of financial leverage we gonna retain with retain on equity that's why I prefer to call this ratio as the mother of 
ratios. Okay, the mother of ratios. Okay, so that's wrap it up now. Make sure that you practice this over and over and over. The more you practice it, the more you read it, the more you watch it, that definitely means the more likely on the exam day to solve it and you're gonna be in good shape. Okay, that's all.